Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't noticed already, I'm like really glossy right now and that is just pure sweat. Um, I'm sweating a ton because I'm trying to clean the house in the middle of the day and I don't know why. I've mentioned in last videos um, or in past videos that we don't have any AC so it gets really hot here in the summer and it's so hard to get anything done but I was trying to do some sorting and I ended up with a pile of books that I'm going to unhaul because sometimes you just have to be honest with yourself. Even if you enjoyed a book in the past, um, if you haven't reread it or it wasn't like an absolute favorite um, in like the last five years, uh, then maybe it's time to let it go and let someone else get immense joy from it. So I'm going to do a small book on haul. Um, and show you guys what I've added to the pile so far to get rid of. Alright, so I'm just going to get started and show you guys what I'm getting rid of. And no particular order at all. Um, the first one is How to Raise Goats uh, by, who is this by? Voyager Press. Oh, Carol A. Emmonson. Um, so this is just, you know, a book how-to goat that will be really useful for someone but I feel like at this point in the goat game, uh, for me, I already know a lot of this by heart and I have the internet, so I don't ever reference this book uh, aside from the first maybe year I had goats um, in which I voraciously read about them. Uh, I just don't reference it anymore because a lot of it I sort of already know and if I need to double check, I just go online to be honest. Um, so that will be useful for someone else. And in that same token, I thought I had another goat book that I was unhauling, but I guess I didn't bring it over. So let me get back into this pile here. Ah, the next one is My Sister the Vampire Revamped by Sienna Mercer. And neither of my kids have read this. Um, it's just a little Scholastic book. I have no idea what it's about. It was given to us in a big box of books. Um, and no one's picked it up in the last couple of years, so I'm tossing it because this isn't like a classic or anything that we need to hang on to. And probably something we could find at the library. The next one is The Amazing Book of Useless Information by Noel Botham and the Useless Information Society. And this is such a cute little book um, of sort of like random facts. I call these like good bathroom books that you would like keep t uh, to flip through um, while you're hanging out in the bathroom, it's more entertaining than say a shampoo bottle, but nothing you read cover to cover. But, um, I've already read most of these and I've had this book for like 10 years now and only picked it up randomly like the first year that I got it and haven't touched it since. I think the main reason I've kept it so long is it has this cute squirrel on the cover. Um, but I don't need it anymore. And there's lots of little books like these that can be picked up, um, if you really want one, uh, especially from the library. Let's see, the next one is Mama's Babies by Gary Crew, and I know I read this um, uh, a while back and I enjoyed it and it was intriguing, but I have never reread it. Um, and it's not a book that like just stays in my mind forever, uh, but it was an interesting book if you are interested in reading it, um, I'm certain you could find this book just about anywhere, used bookstores, libraries, but it's about a woman who's basically like a baby farmer and I think takes in orphans but then kind of like resells them or something. It's a, it's a fiction book but based on um, true things that have happened in the past. But yeah, it was an interesting book but I don't need it anymore. The next book is Woman Most Wild. Three Keys to Liberating the Witch Within by Danielle Dulski. And I bought this book, let's see, two years ago on a whim. I heard about it in a podcast. Uh, the author was like a guest speaker. And I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. And I really enjoyed the podcast and the, the author interview that she was giving. So I was like, I'll buy the book while I was listening to it. Um, and I only got, uh, let's see, these are my old little bookmarks. I only got... Um, what is this? I think I marked a spot here. That's what that was. I only got 76 pages in. So like, I've only read this much of it. And I just, 
never picked it up again. It was good, but a lot of it just felt like fluff. And I didn't really like the author's tone of talking to me as the reader. It was lots of, you know, you get it girl and honey. And I just, I don't, I don't connect with books that speak to me that way. Um, that are almost too conversational. Uh, it doesn't feel like a book anymore, but not in a good way. Um, so I just, I don't need it. It's brand new. I feel bad for tossing it already um, because it is such a new book and I never even read it, but someone else will love it. The next one is Walking to Gatlinburg uh, by Howard Frank Mosher. And I don't think I ever read this book. I don't even know where it came from. It's like crisp, new. We've had it for years and years. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if I got it. Um, I mean, it's about the Civil War, and it's a fictional book. Uh, it says it's a thriller of the highest order and a heartbreaking odyssey into the heart of American darkness. It actually sounds like an interesting book, but considering the amount of years I've had it and I never, like, go for it, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need to hang on to it and say I'll read it eventually because I will always keep putting more books ahead of it, um, even though it is an interesting book. I am capable of going to the library and also spending money on books that I would much rather read. And so it's one of those that I always plan to get around to, but never do because I find something better I would rather read. So that one's got to go. The next one is The Daughters of Juarez, um, a true story of serial murder south of the border by Teresa Rodriguez. I think I got halfway through this book before I just DNF'd it years ago. And it's just because it actually got boring. Like the, the content of it you would think would not be boring, but the way it was written was not interesting to me at all. So I'm finally tossing it, donating it, not literally tossing it, um, and realizing, you know, being honest with myself that I'm actually never going to finish it. The next two books I got for free and they're rather big um, and the only reason I've kept them is because they're so vintage and and cool looking and I like the illustrations, but I, I can't see myself actually ever using them. Um, but the first one is The Warrior and the Princess and Other South American Fairy Tales. And they're actually really gorgeous books, like with probably really cool stories. But one, I think I could get a smaller book that would be easier to read if we were actually ever wanting... Ow. I just hit myself in the head. If we were actually ever wanting to read about South American fairy tales, I could just find a smaller book that would fit into my life better. Um, and the next one that's similar to that is Tales of India, Magical Adventures of Three Indian Princes, which again has gorgeous illustrations um, and nice big uh, letters in it, but it's just so big and unwieldy that Again, I'm, if I want to read about tales of Indian princes, I can find a smaller book. But look at the pretty pictures. I held on to them for several months. Someone gave me these. Ooh, what is that? Something on my table. Um, someone gave me these maybe six months ago, and I hung on to them. And then since I have never cracked them open other than to flip through them initially, um, again, another honest conversation myself. I'm never gonna read them. But yeah, that's what I'm unhauling. I actually have a few more books that I'm unhauling, um, but I couldn't find them because I've just been throwing everything in random boxes and not actually sorting it. Uh, just getting rid of it as I see it and organize and stuff. Um, but these are the main bulk of the books that I'm unhauling. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you all again really soon.